What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate y'all for continuing to rock with me. I got my Tigers in the playoffs. Hopefully they can pull it off. I got my Lions at 3-1. and one. They looking good. Red Wings is now getting it popping. The pitching season is starting. We're going to see how that play out. But I'm happy to be a Detroiter. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be in the Motor City. Large blue-collar workforce. People that's dedicated to their grind. And it's an awesome place to be at the time. So very excited about my city, but that's not what I want to talk to you guys about today. I want to talk to you all about uh, what's kind of going viral right now when it's CJ So Cool apparently being broke. Why do I say that he's apparently being broke? Because I actually watched his last video on the CJ So Cool channel, which let me give CJ So Cool his props first and foremost, because he is a legend. He is a content creation YouTube legend and that you know he's pioneered the way for a lot of people to create the type of content that they've created all the way up to the point to where he's ran it up to over 9 million subscribers on a CJ So Cool channel. I remember uh, probably within the last few years the most recent thing besides what I watched just uh, yesterday the most recent thing that I seen from CJ So Cool was uh, him, Bandman Kevo, and my man, a dude that went to jail, that wound up creating an app, but he went to jail for the cars and all of that stuff. Omi, Omi and the Hellcat. They was all creating content together. They was all supposed to be cool with each other and all of this stuff. But then all of a sudden, uh, I just seen Bandman Kevo yesterday. Somebody sent me a video of Bandman Kevo, and he was talking about why CJ so cool went broke and how he is snake, and he don't ever like to take responsibility and all of that stuff. And I'm sure that it's some truth in that or whatever, but when I see people going through things personally with their family and with their finances, you know, that's different than content. If you competing on content, I think that that's a whole nother conversation, you know what I'm saying? Because that's not personal. When I see people going through personal things, whether it be like divorce or death in the family or they going through financial issues or court issues and stuff, if I know them personally, then I kind of try to stay away from that. So that's a weird dynamic that I see that, that I see how things is playing out. I seen him and this dude named CJ on 32s. They was both kind of going at uh, CJ so cool. But it's a couple different things that I want to take from this and that I want to have a conversation about. And then you guys can let me know what y'all think inside of the comments. Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description. Also, teach Hanley 40% off your first order plus 20% off of life. And then last but not least, Make sure you get your tickets to come and kick it with me in November and December here in, in Detroit and December, December 14th and then November 2nd uh, in Atlanta. And we're going we gonna to make it shake and we're going to make it do what it do. All right, discount code Anton. Make sure y'all get that. But it's a couple different things that I want to take from this, right? Number one, I seen CJ So Cool's video and towards the end, in the beginning, he was talking about depression, right? And he was saying, yo, you know, depression, I'm depressed and all this PTSD. And it's because I got unresolved trauma from my childhood and all of that stuff. And then he finally revealed the real reason at the end. And he was like, <laughs> he was like, yeah, and my income went from $200,000 a month to $100,000 a month to $30,000 a month and below and below and below. And I'm starting a new channel now and all of this stuff, right? Listen, fam. Part of the reason why people be depressed, part of the reason why people be depressed is because they money not right. And people forget when you on the way up, you know what I'm saying? Because in this life, you're going to have ups, you're going to have downs. But when you on the way up, everything is cool because you can fix the problems, the issues. Okay, that's temporary. We can make that shake, whatever, so on and so forth. But when the money not right, it get a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sure that he's depressed. I'm sure that he's going through it. Uh, because the way that you would use the resources to cover the issues is different from the way that you have it now. And so, you know, depression is largely tied to, I know people like to talk about previous trauma and all that stuff. No fam, depression, because when people say, yeah, man, we all going through it and stuff like that. Depression is largely tied to your financial situation. In my personal opinion, y'all can let me know what y'all think inside of the comments. You may think differently. But depression is directly tied to your ability to solve for a problem. Usually you can solve for problems by throwing money at it. That's number one. Number two, I'm going to make three points. Number two, 
We are financially illiterate, 100%. It should not matter the amount of money that you're bringing in when you've generated so much because you're supposed to assume or always anticipate when things are not going as well as you want it to when it once was at the top. I've been doing really, really well for a long time, so well, in fact, that every single year since maybe 2010, 2009, I've done better than the year before. But here's the beautiful part about it. That's just icing on the cake because I never depended on it. You know what I'm saying? All of my resources, and I tell y'all this on the Millionaire Morning Show, I tell y'all this inside of the Patreon, my goal is to go broke every month. But going broke, investing in myself, right? Because there's two benefits that come along with it. First of all, I get tax benefits that come along with it because I have to pay less in taxes because I'm reinvesting into the businesses. That's number one. And then my net worth goes up as a result of it. And so I'm also putting myself in a position to never have to depend on anything that's coming fast or anything that I'm continuing to benefit off of, which allows me, which, which forces me. What up? What up? What up? Oh man, I appreciate you. What's your name, bro? Uh, nice to meet you, man. That's what we do. We run into people all the time. Shout out to the security people. Uh, they be running into me saying what up and all of that. But the second thing is I've always reinvested in myself and I've had multiple streams of income. That way, if anything was to disappear on this side, then we always got a whole bunch over that side. That's why I believe in educating yourself, getting your degrees, making sure that you continue to level up, all of that stuff, and having multiple streams of income, leapfrogging into this, leapfrogging into that, because nothing is forever, but the one thing that will be forever is my real estate portfolio. The one thing that will be forever is the fact that I got a degree that I can always fall back on. The one thing that will be forever is all of my stocks and, and you know my brokerage account that I got money running into. So you know a lot of people, they depend on that stuff, and then when you start to see stuff go down, for whatever reason that it went down, if it went down because Bam Man Kevo was saying, hey, he was dependent on the kids in order to make content because that's who his audience is and that's who he appeals to, I'm not going to be dependent on that because then I don't have control over it. Even when it comes to this content creation shit, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I curse. I'm on it. I'm working on it. This is for me. It ain't even for the content. It's for me while I'm changing my, my, my approach towards cursing. Even when it comes to content creation, right? I do interviews because I love interviewing the people and it may be some benefits that come along with that as far as more visibility or more resources and stuff like that. But I have to invest heavily in that, but I'm not depending on it in order for me to rent win. I've created content and I'm the brand and you're just an interviewee on the brand. But you telling me that if I don't interview with these people, then you don't have resources. I see platforms like that all the time. Vlad is one of the people like, he can't sit in front of the camera and hold the audience. He got to continue to invest in other people. And his business model was awesome. I think it's great. But he can't just wake up in the morning and decide, I don't want to kick it with a whole bunch of people for the next two or three months, six months. And I'm also going to run it up bigger than if I didn't because I'm better than what it is that people is coming in to check in for. So it's a lot of different lessons in this. I think that the biggest lesson is that, again, we have to be financially literate. For y'all to be generating, and I'm talking about these content creators, these rappers, entertainers, whoever it is, for y'all to generate as much revenue as y'all have, and then y'all out here being broke, that's a problem. That's absolutely a problem. And that means that y'all was spending it as fast as y'all was getting it. Y'all thought that it was gonna be forever. It's not because the algorithm could change, people's interests could change, they can grow up. I see what's happening to a lot of content creators. I'm not gonna say no names, but a lot of these people, they literally continue to depend on, you know, things that's happening in the industry and the industry can change at the drop of a hat. The, the type of uh, platform that you're using can change. Your audience taste and interest can change. A lot of things can change, right? So again, y'all have to be careful. And when you get it, don't be so excited to where you're dependent on it. Just look at it as extra, benefit from it, and then keep it moving and also continue to learn how to be financially literate so you can invest in certain things and it allows for you to continue to grow your portfolio. And if you keep getting it, dope.
if you don't keep getting it, then it don't even matter like that because you never depended on it in the first place. You know what I'm saying? So use it as leverage, use it as an opportunity to grow, but don't depend on it um, for you to continue to, to feed your family. Never depend on something that's temporary to feed you. Even regular jobs. I will never depend on a regular job. It's icing on the cake. I'm never going to depend on a regular job to make sure that my family is taken care of. I'm not going to depend on nobody. I'm just going to always have multiple streams of income, multiple things going on, and then I'm going to just run it up. I'm going to just keep running it up and investing in myself. Let, let me know what y'all think inside of the comments. Again, make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description. Also, teach Hanley 40% off your first order plus 20% off for life. I love you. I appreciate you. You guys are the greatest audience in the world. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace.